viewers, my name is Cookie LeBap and so is the show. We are here for Blythe Magazine, where I keep you updated on joyous, noteworthy events to start off your week. Today is Monday, May 3rd, 2021. Let's start looking onward. Adopting a new creature in the family is a fun and exciting experience. Sometimes they're dogs, sometimes hamsters, now gargoyles. Thanks to crowdfunding from Friends of Notre Dame de Paris, everyone is invited to adopt their favorite monster or saint by donating towards the fundraiser to help Notre Dame reach its restoration goals. If you are interested in helping restore the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris and are a fan of the movie Hunchback of Notre Dame like I, check out the links in the description below this video for more information. Because of Mount Thank you. Substantially less harmless eruption than first thought. Thousands of people were given the opportunity to experience the monumental force of nature. This is the first time in over 800 years that the Icelandic volcano has discharged molten lava. At first, the volcano was originally blocked up, bracing for what was thought to have a very intense fire weather. But the lack of ash and pumice being spewed into the atmosphere gave nature admirers a chance to see a once-in-a-lifetime event. Donald Boyd and Frank Nguyen has a pair of photographers who produced a short film titled Volcano for the People and have lived in Iceland since 2015 expressed that for the first time the people of Iceland were not afraid of an eruption like Mount Fagradalsfjall. Thank you. As they have been in the past some Icelanders even saying that it is an eruption for the people. You can find out more on Mount Fagradalsfjall. Thank you. And a short film on this subject in the links within the description of this video below. <music> Bristol Zoo, located in England, had an adorable surprise at the end of April when discovering that a tiny mouse deer was born the second of its species to be born at the zoo in the past 10 years. The Malaysian mouse deer fawn is only the height of a standard pencil. At the moment, the tiny fawn remains unnamed and the gender has yet to be determined because mouse deer have what would be called hide and seek behavior and is difficult to track and determine. According to Tim Rowlin, hoofstock team leader at Marwell Zoo in Hampshire, all of their species will hide their young until they are older, so they will only come out to feed and then hide again. That's all for now. Tune in next week and look forward to more joyous, noteworthy events. I'm Cookie the Bat. Thank you for watching.